So, 450 CLC by CF Moto. Going to be a lot of bikes starting up, so you're probably not going to hear this. Ah, oh, so. Just a second, it wakes up. There you go. I thought mine was slow. <laughs> <laughs> it's so low, it's tiny. The clutch is uh, horrendously light compared to what mine is. Rev count is digital in the middle of the screen. And the tripper. my first demo day so yes this is a demo day it's not my usual type of ride and it's the first time I've done one of these we have to follow the rider in front there's no overtaking there's no um, deviating from the, the path that they have chosen to take us on uh, it means I have no choice of the type of roads or the speed limits or anything else like that you will also notice that I have a issue with some muscle memory in this and some lack of comfort in trying to get my feet on the pegs and it causes me some control issues at the start of this ride I thought I'd leave it in so you can have a look and see what it's like riding something that you're completely unused to that's interesting because Yep, saying no. Oh, I gotta get used to these forwards controls, am I? So at this point, I have very little control of the motorcycle. Uh, I'm on gravel, which I don't like anyway, but I can't find the back brake, which means that really to slow down, I've got to do it by letting it roll and doing it with the engine, which isn't particularly useful at this point. The last thing you want to do is drop somebody else's motorcycle, especially as it's brand new. Also, I lost the dead cat off the microphone somewhere between here and home. It's all 50 miles away, it's um, not likely I'm going to be able to find one. So there might be a little bit of wind noise that I had tried to get rid of previously. Really not used to uh, forward controls, it's been a while. It's been since 1999. So almost um, 25 years since I uh, rode anything with forward controls and I was an awful lot younger then as well and didn't have the flexibility issues of a piece of steel. Oh that's a fun engine! <laughs> six, gear, six speed gearbox? Not saying. It's nice to be able to see that rev counter. The 450CL features a 450cc parallel twin with double overhead cam. It has a 270 degree firing order and it has dual count balancers. This works to provide 43 horsepower at around 9000 rpm and 42 newton meters or 30 pounds foot of torque at 6250 rpm the engine has a six speed transmission and has a slipper assist clutch and a final belt drive the bike is extremely low at the height of just 693 millimeters and it only weighs 181 kilos we suspect it would do about 60 miles to the gallon and has a 12 litre tank for 200 cc less, you're only losing about 3 horsepower over the uh, Royal Enfield shotgun. Star wise, I like this. It's very nice. The throttle's far more responsive. And okay, it's a demo day, so we've got all sorts of bikes out in front of me. The feet forward position on this compared to the shotgun is probably more like your Meteor. And the beach cruiser type tyres are 
They're a little strange. The bike comes with a 13090R16 front tyre and a 15080R16 rear tyre. It's definitely a different feeling. The front suspension is an upside down telescopic fork, whereas the rear suspension is a centre aligned shock absorber. Oh, it's so, so low to the floor. The front brake is a 320mm single disc with a radial caliper by JG1. It's a 220mm single disc with a, what I believe is a JG1 caliper as well. So much fun! Oh, I'm not going to get a lot on this, but that, that dash is lovely. The digital dash pretending to be analog. I can't argue that. The bike comes with a 3.6 inch retro style round TFT which supports navigation, has turn signals and a gear position indicator. It also has a T-box, same as mine, which allows seamless vehicle to phone connectivity and other features such as over-the-air upgrades, uh, security anti-theft functions, track recording, real-time display and vehicle information via the CF Moto Rider. I think it looks better than the Royal Enfield. I think it looks better than the Meteor. Smaller engine. I'll have to check whether that's a different tax bracket. It is £23 cheaper on road tax than the 650 shotgun. The tyres are wider than those on the Royal Enfield shotgun as well. And having done some research, it is proven to be a more stable ride in a straight line. But they will make turning slower. Now this has got 16 inch wheels and that should make the turning faster, however I do find it a little bit slow and nowhere near as direct or as confidence inspiring as the Royal Enfield shotgun was. Again that could just be down to my riding style. I think it only comes in two colours at the moment as well, this uh, red and silver and uh, an all black one. I know the wife's favourite is the all black one. I'll listen to that. Testing the horn in front of me. Riding through these little villages is absolutely a doddle. It's got such a low balance, uh, sorry, such a low centre of gravity and such a good balance that it's not a problem. The sharper turns are finding difficult, but I think that's more to do with me rather than the bike. Although I do understand that cruisers don't necessarily corner very well. Of a cruiser, it feels ridiculously light compared to the um, 650MT and very very light compared to the shotgun. Be interesting to put my glasses on and see what it weighs. Obviously no dual carriageway test today. I feel it would be the same as any other naked bike. You are a little bit more laid back. I can feel the, the wind today in my chest area holding me back off the handlebars. Which I didn't really feel on the shotgun. Sorry, I'm paying attention to enjoying myself. Just. Um, Interesting choice to put a um, metal plate on the back seat. I can actually feel that. Um, if it was my choice, I'd probably remove it. I, I believe this is where this bike probably belongs in cruising around the back roads. So the balance is pretty good. 
me taking that really really not finding the sweet part of that handling I think it's a little easier than the Super Meteor uh, not, not the Super Meteor shotgun it's almost got a beach cruiser vibe about it in the way the tyres look I'm attempting fate because of my style of riding but what do I actually feel like it will tip there's very little in the way of vibration through anything that I can feel it's a bit in the foot pegs Four and a half thousand RPM, five thousand RPM, something like that. But if you cruise on it and get in the right gears, the only thing I can feel is the metal plates in my backside. Oh, and my hips. <laughs> my hips don't lie, the floor's too low. It does change direction quite nicely. Nice out here. It's always nice doing a circuit you have no idea about the roads. I obviously haven't picked this demonstration day course. in a cruiser compared to the it doesn't turn quite as well as the shotgun is that something to do with the tyres or the rake I'm not sure now that feet forward position is this more super meteor than it is shotgun answers on the postcard or in the comments what do you think not quite knowing what gear to put it in but 20 mile an hour third gear again I suspect this bike would quite happily do 20 miles an hour so if you're Welsh maybe this is the bike that you need to be buying I think it's time to do an overview of this bike for the price that it is, the style that it is, the size of engine it is, it is a very small, very unique package. I don't think you'll find many motorcycles with this style, with this price, with this warranty or this tent oh, that's on an it. Interesting house. At this seat height, and for shorter riders, that is going to be very, very beneficial. I personally find that the ground attacks my feet a little too quickly and I can't realistically get it to go around corners and I would need more than the 20-30 minutes I had on that to master its abilities and tell you whether this is worth buying or not. I would certainly suggest you go out and test ride one or at least go and look at one and sit on one in your local showroom. And I don't want to do the speed trap please don't forget to click like or subscribe or drop me a comment or a question I'll do my best to answer it on this bike is that a hairdryer in his hand or a speed gun uh, I couldn't tell I'm guessing as they're all in a uh, high vis it's a, a speed gun but it could have been a hairdryer I don't do speed bumps on any bike if I can avoid them. Thank you to everybody who likes and subscribes to my channel. It has helped me grow slowly but surely. And at least I know that some of you are finding the content useful. 
goodbye for now and ride safe.